welcome students in a series of decimals today's topic is like unlike and equivalent decimal numbers let us understand what are like decimal numbers the decimal numbers having equal number of decimal places how just see here for example 8.5 here decimal parts consist only one digit 5 again 249.4 here also in decimal part if you can see here is only one digit 27.0 here also decimal places are only one one decimal places is here so in all these three decimal numbers equal number of decimal places are here just tenth place it means 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.0 just one digit in decimal place so all these three are like decimal numbers just see another set of example 7.32 230.25 so in this set of example also you can see two digits in decimal places 322550 just two decimal places are here it means it is also a example of like decimal numbers just see another example 0.375 three decimal places 27.038 again three decimal places 769.600 600 it means three decimal places so all these examples are like decimal numbers what are unlike decimal numbers very simple the decimal numbers having different number of decimal places for example 5.3 here is only one decimal place 0.3 one decimal place 230.25 here is two decimal places then 64.500 here are three decimal places so these are examples of unlike decimal numbers here are two rectangles equal size of rectangles are here and i have shaded both of the rectangles total number of parts in this first rectangle is 10 and i have shaded seven parts it means fraction is 7 by 10 and just see here in this rectangle total number of parts are 100 and i have shaded 70 parts so the fraction of this rectangle is 70 by 100 but if you will see that both are equal size and that's why both are equal that's why 7 by 10 is equals to 70 by 100 and it is a very good example of equivalent fraction that we have already studied in fractions also in similar way because decimal is just an another way to write fraction we can say that 7 by 10 which can be written as 0.7 in decimal form and 70 by 100 which can be written as 0.70 both are also equal so that's why we can say what are equivalent decimals the decimal numbers that name the same amount are called equivalent decimals another example is 5.3 5.30 5.300 all are equivalent decimals compare decimals also how let us do one question 3.53 and 17.215 we need to compare it comparison means we need to tell which is greater or which is smaller so first thing is convert in like decimals 3.53 have two decimal places and 17.215 have three decimal places so we will convert both in like decimals so we will make this two decimal places also as three decimal places so what is now 3.53 will be 3.530 now in this decimal number also there are three decimal places and here was three decimal places 
already exist 17.215 now what we uh, need to do we need to compare it so how we will compare we will start from whole number part at first we will see the whole number only so in this first decimal whole number is 3 and what is the whole number in this second decimal 17 so which is greater 3 or 17 we know that 17 is greater that's why this decimal is greater 17.215 is greater than 3.530 or we can say 3.530 is less than 17.215 Let's do one more comparison 3.305 and 3.505 we know that our first step is used to convert in like decimals but these decimals are already like decimals just see here are three decimal places and uh, here are also three decimal places 3.505 so no need to convert in like decimals we will just compare these decimals but we know that we will start from whole number always we used to start from whole numbers but here whole number is also same 3 and 3 whole number part is same so what we will do compare the tenth part if whole number is same it means if whole number is same then we will go to this part we will just compare this part tenth place so at tenth place here is 3 and here is 5 so we will convert we will compare these 3 and 5. 3 and 5 which is greater? Yes, this 5 is greater. That's why we can easily say that 3.505 is greater than 3.305 or vice versa. We can say that also 3.305 is less than 3.505. Now, because we know how to compare decimals, we can arrange them in a ascending order also ascending means increasing order like this right so let us do one question here is your question 6.303 6.033 5.330 5.331 now what we need to do we need to start from the smallest to largest ascending order means smallest to largest so we will compare by whole numbers so we know that in these decimals whole number is 6 and in these two decimals whole number is 5 so definitely the smallest will be from these two decimals so let us compare these two decimals and because 5 is at whole number part in both the decimals we will convert the next so next place is 10th place and this is same 3 so we will go to 100th place 3 and 3 again it is same so we will go to the thousands place 0 and 1 now we will find 0 and 1 we can compare from here and because this 0 is less than 1 it means 5.330 is the smallest and 5.331 is greater than 5.330 now we need to compare these two 6.303 and 6.033 in these two decimals we know that whole number part is same so what we will do we will go towards 10th place 3 and 0 both are different so we can compare from here so which is the smaller yes 6.033 but it is greater than 5.331 now this 6.303 is the greatest one so it is the ascending order now let us understand to arrange in descending order descending means largest to smallest so it is your question 1 1.18 1.20 1.21 0.871 1.02 in descending order at first we will find the greatest one so how we will compare these whole number part so there are four decimals which has one and one decimal has zero in whole number part so what we will do definitely the greatest decimal will be from these four decimal numbers right it means we will compare these four but in all these four decimals whole number part is same so just go towards the tenth place and we know that the 
greater tenth places are of 1.20 and 1.21 so we will compare these from their hundredth place 0 and 1 so which is the greater 1.21 it is the greatest and 1.20 is smaller than this right and 1.18 and 1.02 now we will compare from there because whole number is same so we will compare from their 10th places it means 0 and 1 so which is greater 1.18 but it is smaller than 1.20 remember this thing then here 1.02 and last but not the least 0 0.87 is the smallest in all so it is our descending order so my dear students if you will face any problem in mathematics what you need to do you need to just do practice and you can solve any problem goodbye